Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the best settings to use in really graphic settings, preferences, visual settings, all of it. What is the best to use in New World in 2021? So as we jump into some of these settings, the first thing we're going to do is go to key bind. So as we jump into some of these settings, the first thing we're going to do is go to key binding. So in key bindings, you can see all of the different settings I am currently using. I will say it depends on who you are, what you want to use, but the key bindings is not a too important spot for you guys. The biggest thing is swap active weapons. I binded that to my mouse button. That's going to be up to you guys to see what you guys want to, uh, you know, kind of bind that to. But that obviously allows you to do the animation cancel on the rolls if you are light armor very, very easily. As we see, we have auto run and equal sign. You can change that as well. But the biggest things to check into is in the preferences, gameplay, and visual stuff. So let's go into the preferences first. So language filter, if you want to actually see everything and don't want them to just say this is a bad word, even if it's not a bad word, you can turn that off like I did here. You obviously want to select your language. But the biggest thing to note is this bandwidth mode, enable analytics reporting, and take survey on exit. Depending on what build you're playing, if you're playing in the release full release i'm assuming they won't have this take survey on exit but do expect bandwidth mode and enable re analytics reporting to be there on release you know both of these are going to help you so here's one enable analytics reporting if you are experiencing network latency issues in new world turn off this feature it may help so obviously you're going to want that feature off unless you want to continue to support new world in you know those analytics and reporting ways but you know a lot of people are going to be opted in so it's not a big deal if it's hurting your computer it's hurting your performance definitely turn that off we don't know too much about bandwidth mode quite yet so i will continue to leave mine on medium but you know a great way to get rid of all of the spam when it comes down to achievement notifications is turning this off if you guys like it that's perfectly fine keep it on but Sometimes there's just too many achievements popping up. I love the idea of achievements being added and I like being able to scroll through myself, but I don't want them to pop up on my screen constantly. So enable achievement notification I have off. And then we also have subtitles. We're not going to jump too much more into that. You guys can do what you want there, but the biggest thing is gameplay. So the first thing I'm going to say, camera sensitivity, make sure it's at a safe, not a safe, but make sure it's at a, you know, a respected sensitivity that you can actually understand what the heck's going on. You're not just zooming around the map. You want to be able to see everything when you're moving around and the biggest way to do that is actually disabling camera shake so it has here enable camera shake turn that off instantly we also have always show reticle i have that on and there's a bunch of other things that i have on and if you guys want to read too much into all of those make sure to uh, you know kind of check these out yourself but when looking at nearby players show the social actions hotkey hint on their nameplate so on i have the show vital values obviously on contextual fading i'm not too sure on what that is quite yet so it could be a good thing to turn that on we'll we'll check you know as we get closer to uh you know really launch but there's a lot of options when you go through like i said these settings we also have the hud always show weapons i have that on show extra ability cooldowns you guys have seen that in my pvp gameplay another one i always have on we have floating damage numbers so went off damage numbers will be docked to the enemy's health bar i like that as well you can also accept dual invites so it allows players to send you dual invites most likely you want that on the auto traverse is kind of uh kind of up to you so the one thing it does for you is jump over certain situations without a doubt so if you're actually running through uh, or you know running over an area you're going to be able to auto jump over that but i specifically like the idea of forcing my character to jump over that so that maybe in certain situations i don't do it on accident maybe a big pvp fight i'm trying to run away from somebody it just throws me over the you know fence or something and i didn't want to go over the fence so i like the idea of being able to vault when i want to vault not just by the you know the game standards and then all this is based on healing if you guys are healers and you want to kind of play around with that you definitely can do so targeted healing is going to be a big concept for a lot of healers if you go to the visuals this is going to be another spot where you're going to want to play around so the first thing i'm going to note is you want 70 field of view it's going to start i believe at 50 or so i'm not exactly sure i think it starts at 50 i just like the biggest field of view possible why wouldn't you want to see what's going on around you it's going to help you in pvp situations pve situations as well and you know it's just going to let you see the world as a whole so 70 field of view definitely raise that up if you would like to and then you know like i said guys all of these settings are going to be based on what you like but realistically this is what i like and think is the most really uh you know efficient or most um 
I guess just the best looking. So I can see here that I am running a 4K uh, setup. So I have full screen to uh, 2,560 times 440, or sorry, 1440. So we are seeing obviously, you know, that I am running a high quality setup. So I'm just running high on everything. But if you guys are having problems, make sure to turn off, you know, water details, shadows. Some of these stuff are things that you don't really need. Effects, you don't need lighting that high. You can turn all of these things down if you are having FPS problems. You can also have show your FPS on. You can have VSync off. It depends what you guys want to do there. VSync off is what I currently have and it's been working great. And you can also see the player name plate amount. So increase or decrease the amount of nameplates shown on screen. Warning, high amounts of nameplates can severely affect frame rate. So I'm not sure what this starts out at, maybe at 15, I believe, but I turn this instantly down to 10. And if it actually affects too much, I'll even turn it down lower because realistically, you're not going to need to see everybody's nameplate in front of you. It's just kind of nice to do if you can do it. So that's about all I wanted to really take you guys into. I'm not going to go through audio and communications, Twitch, accessibility, and about because like I said, these are the key really key settings that are going to help you out. I do like to have brightness a little up. You can see here 53, even higher is better in my opinion, because you're going to be able to see a lot more when it comes to details in caves or in dungeons that are very, very dark. So it's going to be up to you guys. But like I said, a lot of different options that could help you out. My biggest ones being this gameplay side of things. When you look at things like always show reticle or even, you know, always show weapons or show extra ability cooldowns, floating damage numbers. I like all those so much. Uh, it just looks so much cleaner in my opinion during pvp fights very easy to find out what information i want to see so that's going to be my settings my best settings for 2021 new world thank you guys again for tuning in if you have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comment section down below thank you again i'll see you all and make sure to subscribe to the channel I'll see you all in the next one